We may think that we spend most of our time in the living room or in the kitchen, but that's really not true. In fact, we spend one third of our lifetime sleeping in the bedroom. So it's safe to say that we should spend more of our decorating dollars towards the master bedroom, but that's not the case. You normally spend the money on the living room, right? The TV, the decor, those pillows, maybe those kitchen appliances, right? But if you feel like you need an update in your master bedroom, but don't have a large budget, let me help you out there. In today's episode, we will talk about spending $150 to update your master bedroom in four different ways. Hi, it's Kasha McDaniel, and I am a home stager decorator, and you're listening to the Creative Home Podcast, where I talk about staging and decorating and all things associated with your home. So take a listen. Hello, and welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. My name is Kasha McDaniel. Thank you so much for listening. And today we are talking about master bedrooms and how they should feel like a spa or a haven when you're trying to relax after a long day at work. It should make you feel calm and help you relax your mind. And if your bedroom doesn't do that for you now, there are a few ways to things to change that you can do without breaking the bank. Let me share four things that are under $150 that you can easily change out to help you create your staycation in your bedroom. Starting with changing out the bed sheets. I know this is probably one that you're probably going, oh, oh my gosh, yes, please help me. So there's just the bed sheets, the cover, the duvet, the comforter, whatever it may be, just updating that can be such a big change because let's face it, your bedroom, your bed takes up most of the space, right? So just by changing that out, whether it's the color, the texture, the print, whatever it may be, just refreshing the space is sometimes just enough to kind of get you go, oh, okay, yes, thank you. It's not ratty old, you know, comforter that you've been living with for years or a quilt that you're like, okay, yeah, I probably need to find something. So let me help you out with that. So in episode 185, I talk about something called a bed in a bag. And in there, I talk about the best bed in the bag colors and prints. So go check out episode 185 and go listen to that one to help you with that. If you are looking to change out your bed sheets, okay? And let me give you some examples of what I'm talking about and places where you could find them because just changing out the bed in the bag, basically, like maybe your your bedroom's gray and maybe you want to go with a light pink color or blues. Oh my gosh. Or green. Maybe a sage green is kind of what you're looking for, right? Just by changing out the colors, you can easily do that with just a bed in the bag. And it comes with everything you need in there with the little throw pillows and everything. You don't have to go even think about it. You just put it on the bed, you know, find like a plain white sheets to go on there and you're good to go right so places where you can find these things um wayfair my favorite and i'm not uh i'm not a affiliate or anything like that yet for any of these places i'm going to talk about um if i do i will let you guys know but right now the places i love to go look for them because it's just so much easier um online is wayfair um i love to go to ross and normally i go in person because it's just hard to find anything sometimes online in places like ross or tj maxx Tuesday morning is another favorite place of mine to go find bed in a bag stuff. Um, home goods. I know if you go into home goods, you're like, oh gosh. And if you go to those places, if you find something, get it right then and there because you're not going to find it again. Okay. I'm just telling you, if you love it, then just get it. And if the worst you can do is yeah, you return it. Okay. If you find something else that's better, at least you have it. Right. So yeah. So there's many other bedding stores like that, that are great places to find a bed in the bag. Because again, it comes with everything you need. All right, so that's the first thing that you can change out. Another thing you can change out is um, the wall color. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you're probably going, oh my gosh, I have to paint the walls. That may be something that's bugging you, okay? Um, now, in episode number 202, I talk about best interior wall colors. Um, and I think it was for 2022 even. So my episode 202 <laughs> is for 2022. Funny how that worked out. Um, and just by painting the walls, maybe you're tired of the beige or maybe you have gray and it's just so gray and dull and just, you know, 
institutional looking, <laughs> right? Um, so there's some wall colors in there that you might think about doing. And I actually talk about how we painted our bedroom from like a goldenrod yellow to a different color that works so much better and is so much more calming. And there are some paint colors that actually there's a psychology behind what wall color you pick into in what room. Okay, so think about that. And if you're kind of still on the edge of going, well, I'm not sure, there are some great things called peel and stick wall colors to help you decide. They're like eight by eight inch sheets of paper, sometimes 10 by 10, depending on the manufacturer. But um, Benjamin Moore has them, Sherwin Williams, even Magnolia Homes has them. So you can just kind of peel and stick and put it on the wall and see what it looks like, okay? Before you even paint the wall. And that way you kind of go, oh yeah, I could work with that. Or, mm, no, not quite. But episode 202 is another one that you can take a look at for painting your walls a different color, okay? The third thing I would recommend doing to update your master bedroom is maybe removing and changing out those frilly curtains. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Some of those outdated curtains, curtains are the ones like the valances up on top. Maybe it's like the scarf that back in the 80s and 90s they were fashionable. But now, oh my God, they're just dust collectors. Yeah. <laughs> those valances that only cover like the top, what, one eighth of the windows. Just take those down. They're just so old fashioned, outdated. Get rid of them, Okay paint over that part because when you I know there's a bracket probably there a really heavy bracket that probably had some really heavy drapes on there too heavy drapes in the bedroom or even in any room just makes the room feel heavy just dark and just yeah I know the curtain now if you want to have curtains you can make so many different choices for example maybe replace it with sheer white curtains okay maybe if you're looking for more privacy, that may not be the ideal situation. If you live in an apartment or in the city or something like that, or the house next door is really just that close. Okay. Maybe not sheer curtains. Okay. But they do have other ones that are room darkening ones. Um, even white ones have room darkening panels on the back side of it. So if you pick a white curtain, you know, they still have those panel on the back to help darken the room when you need it when you're sleeping, okay? Because maybe there's this really annoying fluorescent light outside, right outside your bedroom window. I get that. I totally do. Um, so yeah, so maybe you just want ones that just bring in some color into the room that you don't necessarily close, okay? Because maybe you are out in the country and no one's going to be around to see it, but you just want some color, uh, one of my daughters has some light blue ones that she really likes that complement her gray walls. So just think about those. Think about changing out the curtains, either remove them totally. Um, maybe you're going to get blinds in instead of curtains. That's another thing that you can think about too, whether it's a Roman shade or whether it's plantation shutters, whatever it may be. Maybe that's the ticket. That's the change. Now those gonna be, are going to be a lot more than 150 bucks. But even just removing things and just changing them out with different um, curtains, that would help, okay? Um, so yeah, so think about that, okay? Um, another thing to think about, if you do go the curtain way, okay, make sure they go all the way to the floor because it helps to make the room feel taller when they touch the floor, okay? 63-inch curtains are just way too short. And even 84 inches may be too short, okay? It depends on how high the curtain rods are hung above the windows. Normally, curtain rods should be hung high, like four to five inches above the molding of the window. Yeah, like that high. I know you're thinking, what? I'm like, okay, yeah. Some of your windows may be really close to the ceiling, you know? And I actually had that where um, in one of my bedrooms, uh, my kids' bedrooms, literally, it is like an inch away from the ceiling. But it looks so grand and looks beautiful. And then also make sure that they'll be hung wide, wider than the actual window. Because think about it. If you hang it so that the brackets, you know, those little um, little shelf-looking thing, right? When you hang the bracket on the side, you only probably hang it like one or two inches from the sides. Really, it should be more four or five inches from the either side of the window because your curtain cannot slide past that bracket, right? And then it makes the window seem really narrow. So think about that too as well. If you have the opportunity to hang new curtain rods, hang them high and wide, 
okay like three to four inches up and three to four inches wide on either side okay that way you can see the full width of the window and see it with the with the molding all around it and everything like that and it just frames it so nicely okay so that's about with curtains all right the third thing you can do and add is adding artwork or change it out okay we're talking about metal artwork framed artwork maybe you have a canvas print um, it can be in geometric shapes or maybe it's an abstract painting or landscaping or something like that and this is something you can easily just put over the headboard of your bed right or to the side of the room that you will see when you walk in the room okay like say you walk in the room and your bed is right in front of you and it's to the right wall okay there should be if your dressers even if your dressers there just hang something up over there um, not just a mirror you know what I mean hang, hang something pretty something with color right artwork is such a great way to add some color and interest to the room and make it feel like your home um, when it comes to staging your home to sell this is also a great way to help you stage your home with artwork and if you're going to be selling your house soon after the holidays the master bedroom is one of the top three rooms you should stage to help you sell it faster when your house is staged and looks move and ready buyers will flock to your open house and make an offer so you can move into your next home during my two-hour home staging consultation i work with you to walk inside and outside your home to determine the appropriate changes remove clutter and depersonalize the space rearrange furniture as needed set up room accessories light artwork you know to complete the look and finalize any wall colors if needed if you need a home staging advice check out my website i'll put the link in the show notes below to schedule a consultation okay so those are the four things that you can change out they're basically under 150 bucks the bonus tip i'm going to share another last one is changing out the light fixture now if you have an old fan with an old like one of those flower shaped light kits you know the lights are the kind of look like flowers up there replace the whole thing or just change out the light kit okay especially if you already have like recessed lighting and lamps in the bedroom and if you can't change out the fan then consider replacing maybe the side lamps in the room or just the lampshades with something with a lighter colored lampshade or a drum shaped more um up to date you know lampshade okay so light fixtures think about look at those in the bedroom and those can help bring in more light um, and help update your room as well okay i also have a playlist on spotify called the home decorating playlist with 19 different episodes you can use to help inspire you to update your master bedroom or other rooms in your house so i hope these four ideas plus my bonus one of changing out the bedding the painting the walls curtains and artwork inspire you to add more decorating dollars to your master bedroom i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week and i will talk to you later